great. So we are Central Spec, and uh, we're going to present our work on Warner Brothers. So just to, pit, uh, to put a little bit of context, so Warner Brothers are going soon to offer a streaming platform, just like Netflix or Hulu. And we thought that it would be good to have actions and recommendation uh, based on these facts and how we can support them in uh, putting this product uh, uh, in the best way possible, knowing that the uh, streaming industry is quite competitive, so we try to give them edges. And we believe that uh, we can provide edges by really trying to fit a product to each client. And, and so the more we fit it to the clients, the better it will be, and the best technology technological advantage we can give it to them. Uh, the first uh, recommendation we want to, to give to uh, Warner Brothers is how we can make the best subscription for the, for the different needs. Then we think about client acquisition, so how we can target ads and be really efficient by doing behavioral clusters. And lastly, how we can engage with the client in a smart way and not be too annoying, etc. Right, so on the first action, we, we, provide to, we, we, we want to suggest some subscription plans to Warner Brothers. So we found out in the data that there was preferences between movies or TV shows, and we believe that it will be best if we, if we can provide two different subscription plans, one for movies only and one for TV shows only. And then we also found out that um, people don't watch, uh, there's different behaviors. Some watch a lot of movies, some watch less movies. And we believe that we can make a small plan, a minimal plan, with only five movies they can watch per week. And it will be cheaper, it will be a foot in the door in the market, and it will be great for, uh, for everyone. Great. <clears throat> we also wanted to give, uh, okay. we also wanted to give uh, Warner Bros. high value uh, business recommendations. And therefore, uh, therefore, we tried to build behavioral clusters using the power of deep learning. One of the main data we had was actions performed by clients, potential clients. Um, to do so, to build these uh, clusters, we uh, tried to taught, we taught our autoencoder child to reconstruct these behaviors and achieving by uh, the time we did it a 96% uh, compression rate. So that was quite impressive at compression level, but is it, is it uh, actually good? We can see that he is able to reconstruct the main features of the signal. So this was quite insightful. And through these uh, 40 high-level features we extracted, we were able to, um, do, to perform a Kamin algorithm on top of them. So we are quite proud of these um, features and these clusters we managed to, uh, to do. And I'm going to present them uh, to you, the results. <coughs> We have a slide that is missing. Uh, we have a main slide that is missing. OK, let's say that you have four clusters. Um, the first cluster is more or less for binge viewers. They are um, people who are not uh, watching a, a lot of times. But when they watch, they watch a lot. So when they do so, um, we, can, uh, we can see that they are like addictive person. So we can uh, feed them some, um, some uh, content, and they will react uh, fiercely to it. On the other hand, we have also our premium, premium customers. Uh, these premium customers, they are really uh, nice to us because they consume a lot and all the time. So these two groups, they uh, represent 14% of the overall customers. So we can act really, really um, precisely on our customers. On the other hand, we have like sporadic customers and other clusters, like on the five we did, that are less interesting on a business point of view. So um, given these clusters, we were able to uh, create a plan of targeting the right customers for ads on the platform, teasing, and uh, maybe more. So now that we define which customers you want to actually target, one question is obviously when and how you're going to reach to that particular client. So what we proved during this hackathon is that you can actually build, using statistics and machine learning, a really good predictive model at guessing when a given 
user is going next to connect on the streaming platform. Actually, you can almost guess perfectly on which type of device is going to connect, let be a mobile or a desktop computer. You can guess really well on what time of day uh, is actually going to connect, and even when it's going to connect since its last connection. So leveraging on this predictive model, you can actually be sure to push the right advertisement to the right person at the right time, and therefore optimizing your marketing resource and being sure, like at least, maybe maximizing your chance that the user is going to act with your ad. So to sum up all uh, our findings, we believe that there are three axes that should be worked on. The first one is actually product offering and actually matching the subscription plans to the different specific needs of the, the clients. The second part is client acquisition, who you are going to target. Here we used advanced deep learning techniques to extract behavioral features out of the data and therefore building a new segmentation based on how people consume media. Doing this, you can, also, you can detect high value clients, medium value clients, and low value clients. And this time again, focus on the high value clients. Finally, uh, thanks to a predictive model, you can now know when and how to push the ads. We believe that uh, with these free access, we can build a real strategy on, um, for client acquisition and also for the sustainability of the platform. And we believe that uh, it will also provide Warner Brothers a real technical advantage over the competitors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.